Please be aware, this video is produced as to whet your appetite if you are considering walking these Lakeland Fells and not as a definitive guide. You must always carry out your own personal preparations before you begin the walk. Warning over. Today's walk begins from the car park opposite Mungrisdale Village Hall. There are several laybys outside the village that are free, but for two pounds a day, it's very close to our final watering hole at the end of the day. You know what I mean. There is an honest box at the far end of the building. Investigate the old lime kiln while you're there. St Kentigan, also named St Mungo, has had a link to Mungrisdale since around 550 AD. The present church you see today was built around 1756. It is thought that one of St Kentigan's original crosses was situated here. The beginning of Boskell's Fell rises quickly and has a few what we call false summits along the way. You can see why Blencather is also called Saddleback. This is Boscale Shelter, but David and I think it's higher than a summit cairn. Hmm.
From the Summit Cairn, heading between southwest and west southwest, 237 degrees, you will see a small cairn. That is our route to the call. Keeping to the path on the left of the river, you will come across the ruins of an old lead mine building. The mine opening is directly opposite the ruin on the other side of the river. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get our past and future walks. Hey, maybe someday we will meet sitting at a cairn with a cup of tea. You never know. For now, we are off for a little beverage at the watering hole.